Hello, 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 YouTube. Welcome to today's SRT and port forwarding. Uh, so you're now getting into SRT and you would just like some assistance on uh, how to configure port forwarding, what protocol to use and so on. Uh, this video is for that. So um, in this uh, little diagram here, we have a video feed originating from Brazil and we are sending that over to Canada and we're going to basically be configuring one line of port forwarding on this Canadian router over here and we're telling it to send UDP traffic on port 5432 to this IP address dot 201 which belongs to the decoder box so a quick overview for SRT it has three modes um, those are uh, caller listener and rendezvous we're going to be using caller and listener modes today. Rendezvous mode would be uh, another application where you have firewalls at both endpoints and you don't have any control over it. That's going to be another video for another time. Uh, starting on the left here, we're going to be assigning the caller role to this encoder and we're going to be telling it what IP address to dial. So this 66.100 would be the Canadian external IP address we're dialing. And we're also going to update the LAN IP address to match the local area network of that location there. Uh, the second thing we'll do is enter the one line of port forwarding here. And then we're going to head over to the decoder, make it the listener, and also update the local IP address there as well. So let's head on to the encoder side and start configuring that. Okay, so let, let us click on encoder. Oh, let's jump to the SRT section. So over here where it says SRT URL port, this is if we're going to make it the, the listener. But in this case, we're not. We're making it a caller. So we're going to ignore this line and go to the one below. And we're going to input the Canadian IP address followed by the port number we're using. So I'm just going to fast forward this a bit. So there you go. Hit apply. And lastly, for this box, we're going to update the LAN IP address so it matches our local area network. In this case, I'm using DHCP. I, I set up a DHCP reservation. And make a note of this MAC address here because you'll need to track down the, the new IP address from your home router using this MAC address if you need to do any further configurations later on. And that is it for this sender side. You don't need to do anything else on this box. Just connect your AV signal and you're ready to go. Uh, let's head back over to the Canadian router now. So just give me a, a few seconds to pull that up. I'm using a Meraki router for this. And I on, I'm only using one line of configuration and I'm saying forward UDP protocol port 5432 to this IP address dot 201 which is my decoder box and that's it you're done you don't need to configure any other uh, protocol here and that's it so save that in your router and let us head over to the decoder side now so just give me a few seconds to pull that decoder video up. Just bear with me for one sec one more second. Okay. So here we are. I'm just updating the LAN IP. In this case, I'm making it a static IP. So then I'm moving over to address setting now this is where you're going to make it the listener so exactly as you see i have it typed out here srt colon forward forward slash at 
colon 5432. That's, that's exactly what you have to type if you want this box to be listening on port 5432. Uh, sorry about that. The, the actual uh, thing that you need to type would be srt colon forward forward slash at 5432. Just ignore that last colon I mentioned previously. And that is how you make it, uh, that is how you assign the listener role to this box. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else on this box. Now we can go ahead and uh, take a look at the status and see if it is pulling a feed. I'm just going to fast forward this a bit. Okay, so here uh, you can click on status and it'll tell you what your frame rate is and uh, other stats. As long as you're receiving something or as long as you have a connection, you'll see some data populating here. But let's take it a step further. Let's uh, log in remotely to the Brazilian side and see what's happening on the encoder. There is a there's a little section that shows you the status of your connection. Let me see if I can uh, fast forward to that. Okay, so here we are at the Brazilian side. And you see this little this little area here that I'm highlighting? That's the status of your SRT connection. So this the IP address listed here is uh, different, of course, because, and I had it covered just for security reasons. But it, it tells you here that the box is connected to the remote endpoint and uh, it's successful. So let's, uh, let's jump into vMix and see how we can make vMix a listener and pull that Brazilian feed. So just give me a few seconds to load that video up of the vMix. Okay, so what I've done here is uh, I'm using the same IP address, uh, 199.201. I, I borrowed it from the decoder, and I've taken the decoder offline I, instead of having to reconfigure port forwarding. So... We're going to go ahead and add an input, and you're going to click on uh, SRT and select listener. Where it says port, type in 5432, and that is it. You don't need to type anything else. We're not using any security. Just click OK when you're done. And we're going to click, uh, since I'm not sending an actual video feed, we're going to click on the statistics, which is the those uh, bars on the bottom right side there. Uh, once that window pops up, just click on SRT. And this will show you the statistics of your connection. So as you can see, I have uh, data that's populated there and it's, it's constantly changing. So that means I have a successful connection. And you just saw a, a message popped up there saying test, test from Brazil. That's me uh, putting in a watermark from the Brazil uh, side from the encoder box. And then you see a star here now. That's me putting in uh, putting in a little logo. So I'm not sending an actual camera feed or video, but I'm sending something. And uh, that's that is it. That's how you configure port forwarding for SRT in a caller listener environment. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any technical questions you would like me to answer, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, thank, thank you for watching.